Yo, what up buddies? Welcome back. Beaker here and today we're using the lucky dragon tactic. That's when you go farming with a dragon literally in your army camps, but you don't use it. You don't use it and there's a lot of good reasons for this guys. This actually will help you get a little more loot. I'm gonna tell you all those reasons in this video, but the first reason is just a little bit of luck. I mean, look at the loot that I got today using my lucky dragon. Oh, Dragon, I love you. Wow. So, okay, we got almost 600,000 gold here. Fernando, where are you, bro? You seem to have taken a little time off. I, I'm I'm so happy for you. I hope, I hope you're enjoying your time off. So, I'm going to take your loot, Fernando. Hope you don't mind. There's no freebies on this base, though. Like, bro, you couldn't have, like, jacked those mines and pumps out a little further? Anyway, we're going to get it. But notice the army I have. So, this was almost all donation troops we got wizards we got balloons we got pointless troops that don't really go together so yeah that happens to me every day i gotta raid with these so i kind of get used to it you know you get used to it and speaking of tons of wizards i think i had 20 wizards in this raid and we need a name for that you know how we named 30 goblins or more a flock of goblins well we need a cool name for 20 wizards or more because that's actually something that you know you would use you might use 20 wizards so anyway Back to reality. We got a little firing squad of wizards here taking those out. Okay, boom. Gonna not mess with that queen right now. That queen is uh, looking mean. We're gonna go up to the top. Look at the top, guys. There's so much sick loot up here. We got, oh man, we got like, we got like 10 awesome things up there with loot in them, including those dark drills. Yes. I know they're only level three, but still, they hold a good amount of dark. So we're going to go from the left over to the right, slowly taking this out. And then we're going to mount a little uh, a little push right into the middle. And I can do that because I have my heroes, I have some spells, and I can do that without using all these troops. Like I said earlier, I'm not using the dragon. And the main reason you would do this, do this lucky dragon thing, is to keep yourself from using all your troops. I know that sounds weird. You're like, Beak, if I don't want to use all my troops, I'm just gonna save some troops but are you really like don't lie to me don't lie to me like if you hand me like um a box of or you know one of those sleeves of oreos and you're like me don't eat all these oreos but like you also give me a nice cold glass of milk like i'm gonna eat all the oreos even though you told me i can't okay so sometimes guys you gotta set limits for yourself and this is a great way to do that you put a dragon in the camp and that's 20 less troops you're gonna use unless you get stupid and, and drop the dragon but really it, it doesn't help you that much you know if if i dropped a dragon right here it would have just gotten gunned down anyway so that's why it works guys also it's a good luck charm and you can't knock that you can't knock that think of all the superstitious crap that people do in this game they're like change the language or you know it's different times of day like these things might actually change the loot but not that much but still if you have hope in something, you're like, this will work. It will work. It will do something for you. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, dudes, let's go check out another raid. I did some sick raids today, and I brought my pet dragon with me every single time. Okay, here's the second one. Again, like what? We got almost a million loot here, and good dark. And that's what I was most psyched about. Now, I saw this base, and I was like, what am I going to do? Again, I have kind of a weird army. I, I even saved balloons from last raid. I didn't use many troops at all in the last raid. So in this one, I still have some of those weird troops, like I was saying. And I wasn't sure whether I should just take the mines and pumps and run or go hard. Hmm. Big problem, right? It's like, wh which way do you go? I don't know. Do you do the quick one and use minimal, minimal troops, or do you go all out? Now, thankfully, I chose to go all out, and that's going to make for a good replay for this video but you know until like the last minute i couldn't really decide what to do so look around the base and you'll see if i do want to get all this dark it's not going to be easy there's two drills in two compartments and then the storage is in the middle but it's kind of protected you know it's protected by some heavy buildings and a couple of heroes now right here we're hoping that archer takes out that corner so we can go straight into the base and not get distracted but in the meantime you know, right at this point, I wasn't still wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I'm trying to get some of these mines, some of these elixir collectors, all that. Okay. So at this point, a minute 30, I'm not doing so hot. I'm like really sucking, to be honest. I couldn't get that. 
And I'm like, okay, okay. You're not gonna make me look like a fool. Uh, I can't read your name. Buddy, we're gonna call you buddy. You're not gonna make me look like a fool. I'm gonna go in there and take your dark. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna use a rage spell. We got plenty of them right now. We're gonna go hard. His clan castle's coming out, but we have a poison spell. We're gonna wait on it because when you see a bunch of barbs come out of the clan castle, you can't assume somebody just has barbs. What do, what do you got in there? Yeah, that's right. You got a wizard in there. So we're gonna wait on the poison spell, drop it on that wizard. Boom! You're done. So I didn't really have that many troops left. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have the goblins, I have the dragon, but I'm not really going to drop those. So what I do have is just a really powerful gang of dudes and ladies. We got a ton of, you know, wizards, heroes, giants, archers, good stuff. And even though there's not that many of them, they're getting in there. They're killing it. So, wizards start clearing the core. Archer queen steps up. Not quite yet. King steps up. King leading the way. <laughs> nice, buddy. So King and the Wizards take out the Dark Swords. Like, that was not looking good at first. You gotta admit, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen in this raid, but we ended up doing sick. Woo! We did it! And look at this. Little bonus at the end. Yes! I finally got all of the Dark. Got both drills, tons of gold, a little bit of elixir. I was psyched on that raid. Only one spell. Didn't use all my troops again. I think that was only like 180 troops or something. Awesome. Now, that might not seem like a big difference to you guys, but it is. If you don't use all your troops, you're going to be able to raid faster the second time, the next time. And I didn't even boost today. You know, I was raiding pretty quickly, but I didn't even boost my barracks. So that's the whole idea, guys. That's the whole thing. Now, guys, for the last raid today, I recorded a live video, a live attack, and look what I found. Lucky Dragon found me a Town Hall 10 base that has great dark that I can actually get. I can get this because look at those infernos. Homie, homie's got them like real high up and the dark down low, and I like that. That's what's up. So we're going to go in from the bottom, take out that dark. Hopefully the queen doesn't totally troll us, or whatever's in the clan castle doesn't as well. And we're going to get this without the dragon again. The dragon is just our good luck charm. He has served us so well today. I'm not going to kill that dragon. No way. I'm going to donate him to somebody else, and they're going to kill him. That way I have a clear conscience. You know what I mean? So we're clearing out as many buildings as we can. Typical beaker wait, time-wasting strategy. But it works. Because that final push we do, we got to make sure everything goes right in, 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 like right where that Tesla is and the wizard tower. That's where we're going to go in right there. So I'm kind of clearing everything that could distract us. Now, that spot right there looked a little sketchy, right? Anytime you see an opening there, I kind of assume there's bombs there. There wasn't. Okay. Now it's time to go in. Let's do this. Okay, you can see I'm, I'm deciding what to what to drop first there. I dropped the Giants first, then the Balloons. Finally, I've had these Balloons for like three raids now. Finally drop them. And they're going to work sick. They're not getting shot by anything. There's no air defense down there. They're just cruising. Yeah, finally, air defense starts shooting them. But we're doing good. The only problem right here, guys, Archer Queen. She got distracted. No! Okay, still though. Look what we got in the middle. We got the giants tanking. We got a bunch of troops behind them, including wizards, archers, and I think there's even a Valk in there. What? Valk just charged ahead. Did nothing, really. She just died. Still, though, I admire that bravery. So, troops are on the dark storage. It's just a bunch of archers. What? A bunch of archers end up getting the dark. Yeah. Having all those sick troops, and then it ends up the archers get the dark is... Kind of crazy, but <laughs> look, dudes, still got the lucky dragon. Lucky dragon for the win. So, guys, I am absolutely serious when I, t when I say this, you know, try this out. It doesn't have to be a dragon. You can use a hound or you can use some wizards or you can bring whatever you want, a couple of witches. I would just recommend it's something that you aren't going to use. Like, if I bring wizards, I'm probably going to use them. But if I bring a dragon, I'm not going to use it. I don't really even like dragons. Nothing against you. Homie, you did really good for me today. Sorry, dragon. I talked bad about you. I always talk bad about dragons. I got to stop that. I got to stop that because I do have love for dragons. I just don't really. Anyways, guys, a lot of dark elixir there. Almost 3,000. Let's go back to base. All right, dudes, back at base. We're going to do some upgrades. 
Now, I've been kind of weird on the upgrades lately. I haven't done the king. What am I thinking? I got a level 10 king still. Not really sure why that is. So we're going to do some walls today, and we're going to do the king later. I'm going to show you guys that at the end of the video. So dudes, look, still, I have the lucky dragon. Buddy, you helped me so much today. I'm so happy to have you around. I'm going to donate you to one of my clan mates, but I'll always love you. Got mad love for you, girl. Boy, whoever you are. Anyways, dudes, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>